Hey everybody, it's Joel Howe, and this tutorial is going to cover uh, setting up a basic camera rig for 3ds Max. Uh, actually, you could use this for pretty much any 3D applic any 3D animation tool. Uh, it's just a basic camera rig, and it extends um, beyond the the standard uh, Max target camera. Uh, I think one of the things that is really hard to animate is is using the target camera is is a good orbit or a good transition. So I've got a, a simple scene set up here with three subjects, and we're going to orbit each one. And uh, I'm going to show you a camera rig that 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 helps to set that up, and it, and hopefully it's going to be useful for you in a, in a whole series of uh, applications. So I've got the basic scene, but let's talk about the rig right now. So I'm going to create. I'm going to go to create uh, uh, in the command panel and we'll go to cameras and I'm going to create a free camera so we're going to create a, a free camera not a target um, if you already have a camera you can change that uh, notice if you go to the modifier you can change this from a free to a target camera and um, back to a free camera uh, and the reason we need this to be free is because we're actually going to uh, I'm going to turn on snapping here and we're actually going to use this camera and and have it be the child of a dummy object so that we can spin the dummy object. Let's create that right now. Uh, create panel helpers dummy. And I'm going to draw a dummy right there. Uh, and uh, so we're actually going to link the camera to the dummy. So I'll select the camera. I'll link that. Drag it to the dummy. And the goal here is to be able to we'll move the camera by moving the dummy. And the dummy will be in the position of whatever we're interested in. And, um, and uh, it makes for very easy orbits because if I do a select and rotate, now I can orbit a camera around the dummy. But uh, first things first, let's take that camera, align it with the dummy. Uh, just uh, I just align this X Y Z and pivot points, and uh, I'll pull this camera back. So now the camera is looking directly through the, the center point of the dummy, and uh, we'll probably pull that back a little bit more. Now there's one other. Now this is you could get you can do a lot of things just with this basic rig, uh, being able to orbit around objects or tilt the camera, uh, but I like to. Uh, and those orbits, the arcs that are created with this, are, are better than just linear animation in a lot of situations. Uh, but one other thing I like to do is I'm going to add a point, another dummy. And uh, I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. All right, so this is a point. And I'm going to link the point to the dummy as well. And I'll align the dummy, or the point to the dummy same settings as before so and and here this is going to right now this will just travel along with the dummy and the camera but um, I want the camera to look at the point that way I can move the point away and maybe lead the camera if we're gonna start positioning because this dummy is going to um, let's just say we're looking at our subjects here this dummy is gonna be looking at this first uh, teapot and as we go to look at the next teapot we may want to turn the camera to see it lead lead with the eye essentially and so the point is going to help us do that uh, the settings for that are um, uh, we have to uh, basically set a look at constraint for this so I've got the camera selected we'll go to the motion panel and we'll look at the uh, rotation of the camera and I'll assign a controller and we'll choose the look at constraint and that allows us to we're going to add a look at target and I'm going to choose the point and uh, turn off that look at target now the camera looked straight down because it basically aligned the x-axis to look at the at the um, at the point and we don't want that I want the y Nope, I want the z-axis to look at that. Actually, 
there we go. There's the z-axis. Sorry, I got messed with the, uh, lost it with the up node there. So the look at axis is the z, but now it's looking away from the point, so we'll flip that to look towards the point. But the camera is kind of on its side, so below that we have the up node control, and uh, uh, I'm going to keep the source axis here. I'm going to set the, uh, uh, basically to the world z up node. Uh, just set that uh, aligned to up node axis Z. And uh, so, so that's going to basically try to keep the camera aligned with uh, the world Z axis, which is going to work for us. Uh, obviously, this is, um, you know, if you were going to do some crazy angles, you'd, you'd have to change the rigging a little bit. Uh, you could also avoid this whole segment and just animate angles on the, on the camera. Uh, totally your call. Uh, but that would give you f flexibility with angles as well. So at this point, uh, I've got the main camera dummy, which is going to allow me to, which I'm going to use for all the uh, position changes, all the translation of the camera. Um, it's going to allow me to pan easily. Uh, it's going to keep the, let me keep the foc keep the uh, dummy where the focus of the camera should be. Uh, it's also going to let me orbit because I can uh, just rotate the dummy and the camera is going to travel at a fixed distance. Uh, you can al you could also uh, take this camera and animate it. Make sure you always animate that or move that on its local axis because really the only time you're going to uh, actually move the camera itself is is basically is to is to dolly it in and out away from the uh, from the dummy so now we've got this uh, basically this push in and out of the camera and then you have the dummy for all of the um, all the other uh, all the other movement and then you of course rotations for tilt and you can control this on the world axis so you can orbit it around your world Z axis or you can go to the local axis and uh, you know do a direct in, uh, tilt up or tilt down of the camera so we've got this uh, I'm going to tilt this up a little bit and uh, so now if I were to uh, we could I won't animate any of this because I have a camera already I have this rig already animated but um, you can see it starts here, and we could basically orbit around this teapot. And then if I wanted to move to the next teapot, it's as easy as if I go to the world axis, I can slide this down, and that would be a, just a traditional pan. Or I could rotate this back, and we can do some rotation while we are there. And I could even as we were kind of panning from one to the one to the next um, halfway through have my uh, have my uh, my point my basically my focus point uh, leading the actual movement of the camera so so that uh, I can peek ahead and then animate this to come back and uh, so that's what I've actually got let me uh, let me just hide these And let me pop up my layers dialog here. I've got uh, those are on a separate layer. I've already got these. Oops, let me double click to get all three. I've already got a rig set up, exact same rig, but it's animated. And uh, so you can see that you can orbit around a camera. And then there's your point leading. So as the, uh, as the, as the, as the dummy translates the point leads and then we can do another orbit and then as you the you can see the point there leading uh, leading to the next to the next subject and the actual dummy translation picks up and so what that looks like is is something like this <coughs> so we've got the initial orbit you can see the point there where we lead in and we do another orbit and then you can see the point kind of take off ahead of time and that's leading the uh, the camera shot 
and then we can do the orbit here and uh, and that should do it so that's a uh, a very basic camera rig and um, uh, hopefully it's uh, gonna help you smooth out some of your motion uh, especially when it comes to orbits especially where uh, you might be orbiting let's say a character model and you need to uh, maybe do a do a low pass to, to show off some some footwear or clothing design and then you need to go up for a close-up in the in the facial region uh, you know this would be a very easy thing to uh, to do and your point would allow you to do some tilting up and down as well even while your orbit stays consistent so I think it's very useful uh, rig especially for orbits especially for any time you need that smooth arced motion around an object so thanks for watching and uh, if you like the video give us a thumbs up thanks very much